Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Whenever you come across this video, thank you so much for choosing to spend a little bit of time with me. I'm so grateful for every single one of you. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. Everyone who's booking, um, making purchases off the website, tipping the Clarista, pledges to the Patreon, purchases off the wish list, and sending things to the P.O. Box. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys so much. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm picking up on an energy that may be working through some sort of trust. And a message came through um, that uh, if you were not able to trust your parents as a child for any given reasons, this developed trust issues at a very young age. And it was further impacted and further grew when you continue to attract people that were a lot like your parents, right, as you were growing, um, because they were the ones that taught you what you deserved, and and it was comfortable possibly for an extended amount of time in relationships, relationships that seemed similar or familiar, whether they were healthy or not, okay? And so um, there's something about this. There's something about looking at... Um, you know, because I, I really feel like somebody is trying to open themselves up, um, you know, wanting to, um, I feel like, yeah, open themselves up or I'm hearing like give love a chance or something. But again, there is a trust barrier there, okay, that may be holding you back. It may also be... Um, creating like an energetic wall that actually keeps people away, okay? Um, and so, yeah, this ties into, it goes back to, um, you know, if you were not able to uh, trust your parents, right? Like, and, and also too, it's like the way that you look at relationships, the way that you feel as though masculine energies or feminine energies um, should treat you. That is also based on how your parents treated you. And I feel like this is not necessarily new information for anyone. But I feel like it's a reminder or just a confirmation or just something coming through to help you... Um, yeah, spin the wheel on this, right? To help you kind of like close out some sort of cycle when it comes to relationships, okay? When it comes to relationship dynamics, when it comes to what you will accept, what you won't accept, what you deserve, what you don't deserve, uh, things like that here, okay? Yeah, Ace of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. What else do they need to know about this, please? The devil at the bottom of the deck with the five of swords. Yeah, and the hermit. Exactly. This is, this is something I feel like I'm just catching you like mid processing, you know what I mean? Like this is something that could be coming up or I just, I feel like it's almost like the divine coming through and being like, hey, listen, this is, you know what I mean? Like uh, a little hint or something here. Yeah, because we have the page of pentacles with the lovers here. And if you uh, can see, right, uh, on this page of pentacles, it's something that's buried, okay? So this could be something that is buried, but also too, this is something that maybe is not present yet, right? It hasn't come out of the ground. It hasn't, you know, it's, uh, but, uh, tell me more about this for the collective, please. Pentacles. 
Yeah, there's some sort of um you you're manifesting something or you've manifested something with the the magician and the 6 of wands with this page of pentacles. Oh yeah, you've definitely manifested something. What's this lovers here? Like successfully. Okay? <laughs> like <laughs> you did the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, with this lover's card, right, it feels like in the Six of Swords, again, it's like moving, it's like crossing a bridge, uh, moving to calmer waters when it comes to relationships, just in general, right? Like, it, it's just this, I feel like, you know, for a lot of you, there's just this, been this, like, looming, like, um, energy of, you know, and maybe for some of you, it's very extreme. And for others of you, it's just barely there, right? Um, only if this message resonates, it, this is not going to be for everyone. Okay. Not everyone's working through this, but, um, you know, it's just this energy of feeling like you always need to, uh, look, you know, look over your shoulder or, you know, feeling like you, you're not sure who to trust or who you can or cannot trust. Um, and things like that, okay? This is you moving to calmer waters when it comes to this, right? Um, you know, there's also an energy of being able to depend on others, okay? And, you know, this could also be, too, you moving out of a space of maybe some hyper-independence that comes from, again, just wanting to make sure that you are secure, okay? All right, what is this um, Three of Cups here, please, for the collective? There could be somebody that wants to reconcile. Okay, this person could be at a distance. Okay. Um, yeah, this is with the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Cups here. Exactly. This is you emotionally disconnecting from anything that was keeping you you know what I mean like in your head about um others about people's intentions towards you and things like that here okay um it could be directly tied into you know a previous romantic relationship right like a marriage or it could also be a father figure okay with this eight of cups and this king of pentacles like this is you know emotionally disconnecting from the betrayal of somebody in particular okay how many about this defender please Yeah, somebody, I feel like somebody's sticking up for you here. Or this is an energy of sticking up for yourself, or maybe even both, okay? Uh, protecting yourself, protecting um, what you've built, what you've grown, yeah. Something's going to change very quickly. We have the Two of Pentacles, then the Nine of Pentacles. This is like jumping. And then after that, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Because this could happen because there could be some sort of windfall of money here. Yeah. This Five of Pentacles with the the Six of Cups here. You know, this it's like this abandonment or this you know, people leaving you or pushing you away or, you know, sending you away or firing you or whatever it may be, right? Leaving you out in the cold here in the past, right? You're having strength over this. You've had to have strength to move through this, right? But there is this energy of whatever it is that I feel like you maybe like, um, For some reason, it's tied into your money. I don't know. 
because we're talking a lot of pinnacles here. Or somebody just needs to know that their money is going to improve. Yeah, like suddenly is what I just heard. Okay, this is really weird, and this is super random, and this just might be a confirmation for maybe like one person, but there's this energy of somebody like was trying to, it's, it's like somebody, it's like if you were a slot machine, right? They'd like put a coin in and expect to win something. It's like you were the slot machine, no. Like so, so somebody would like uh, tithe into you, okay? It, but the reason that they were doing that is because they were expecting something back. They weren't just, I mean, you know, that's usually what like tithing is, but also at the same time, it's like this energy of like, I feel like there was like ill intentions there. Like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't that the intentions were not pure. Okay. It, <laughs> yeah. It's, I don't know. And, and maybe that's not the whole intention for tithing. Uh, I feel like I should... Uh, hold on. But anyways, yeah, no. But you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's like somebody like, uh, putting a coin in and then expecting you to like, you know, there to be a whole bunch of something coming towards them or something. I don't know. Something weird. Okay. Tell me about this page of pentacles with the magician, the six of wands, please. For the collective. High Priestess here, so this, uh, you know, this makes me feel like it could be some sort of business that you do, or um, there's something that you've manifested, okay? Uh, it could be, you know, um, a timeline, a reality, a, um, you know, some sort of purpose, some sort of creative thing that you do, some, something... Um, I heard something in service here, okay? Yeah, it could, Eight of Pentacles here with the work. Okay, what is this lovers with the Six of Swords? Yeah, some sort of juggling is like an illusion here, okay, or something like that. Or it's like this energy of like two people coming together with like full buckets. Like that was an illusion. Somebody, tower card, somebody was really. I don't know, somebody got caught up here. What's this Three of Cups with the Two of Wands? Actually, no, what's this tower? What's this tower? The lovers, on top of the lovers here. 
So also, too, there's an energy of... Uh, I feel like somebody could have been, yeah, you're moving. There's an energy of crossing a bridge, moving away from energies that show up in any type of illusion here, right? Um, but I feel like there's some sort of surprise message that is coming, okay? Truly, I feel like there's some sort of surprise message. You, there could also be a message uh, with the, about some sort of career path or something or, you know, creative endeavor or something. You could be getting several messages here. Uh, what's this three of cups with the two of wands, please? Yeah, this is somebody from your past that I feel like is maybe wanting to reconcile here, okay? <sighs> yeah, but we have the Ten of Swords. I'm, I feel as though you've kind of already like maybe even moved on from this person. I'm not sure that you... Tell me about this Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups with the King of Pentacles, Judgment. Yeah, I feel like there was some sort of judgment that you made. You're moving on from something because you're, it's like you're being truthful that it's um, a burden here, right? Whether it be a thought process or something, I feel like it could actually be this King of Pentacles energy here. Especially with the Three of Swords. What's this over here? Yeah, somebody just tried it. They tried to cause some kind of chaos here, okay? Because, again, there's, there's the messages that are coming in or something here. And what's new? Somebody trying to interrupt, but we have the justice here, so that's no big deal. Like, I'm not even necessarily worried about that. What I'm really focused on is the fact that um, you're moving through this, you're releasing this, I don't even want to call it an issue. It's just a, you have a hard time trusting others here, okay? And it's because of dynamics in the past. 
but I feel like you're able to view both your parents in a different way as well. Like, so you can kind of understand why they were the way that they were. Um, and not to say that you need to necessarily like reform a relationship if you don't have one or to do anything different, but it's, it's, um, there's something about releasing you from the expectation that how your parents treated you is all that you deserve because your parents treated you how they felt that they deserved, right? They, they projected that onto them and even, and even them, they received that from their parents and so forth. It's just a cycle, right? So there's, there's not really a need to like hold any kind of uh, victim mentality or grudges or animosity it's just an understanding and it's just a, a thing of like it's time to change this right because it it your new this new cycle in relationships is very important um for future generations right because it, it's you're releasing many many cycles of toxic relationships here and so somebody could have been trying to manifest toxic relationships in your life so that you wouldn't break this cycle. Ace of Swords, okay? Uh, but yeah, no, you're you're doing this, okay? And there's some messages coming in. Somebody, I, ooh, somebody wants to take you out. Mm-hmm. They do. They want to take you out. Okay. Anyways. All right. That's what I have for you. Uh, this was just a quick little short boy. I hope this is helpful. I love you so much.